I wanted to show you a real quick video which might help a lot of you people uh, that have dead golf carts. So let me turn this thing around and okay here we've got this this golf cart here that is completely dead 48 volt and the charger when you plug it in will not come on because the batteries are too low there's only like two volts in this whole system so normally what I would do I've got a jump charger that I can hook up to this thing that's a whole different video but this charger I got, matter of fact, we even sell them. This thing will even charge a rock. You need zero volts to energize it, but it's 48 volts. And I normally plug mine into this cart. As soon as I plug mine into a dead cart, it comes on. It starts pumping f the, at least 48 volts in the system. As soon as it does, then I hook up the owner's charger, in, and it takes their charger takes over, and I unhook mine. But if you don't have access to a second charger um, or if your buddy's got a Yamaha and you've got a club car or whatever the situation is that you don't have access to a second compatible charger I'm going to show you another way which I think you're going to like uh, to do this so first thing I'll make sure the keys off in this case I'm going to go ahead and flip the tow run switch just to be safe and actually I'm going to pull this seat off also taking the seat off so here's what I'm going to do so my buddy pulls up in his cart right here so we're going to put his cart right next to here and we're going to jump this with a set of car jumper cables so watch this okay I just pulled my buddy's cart up I'm going to turn his key switch off he has a run tow switch, so I'm going to flip this into tow. And I've got out a set of normal battery cables. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these cables and I'm going to hook them up to my battery first. Let me show you. There's the main positive. I'm going to come over here grab the main negative okay so I'm on my negative I'm on my positive get a better grip if you got access to somebody else's charger do that but this is like an emergency type thing that will work so now we're going to take and plug onto positive onto his negative onto his now so right now we've got a set of cables running from this guy's cart to this guy's cart now we're going to try we're plugged into the wall. We're going to take this. We're going to plug it into the cart. Let's see if it's enough volts to energize this charger. And it is. The charger just kicked on. You see that? So now we can go over and disconnect these cables one at a time. Taking this positive one off. Taking this positive one off. Now I'll take the negatives off. Nice. So, come back over and verify. Yep, baby. So now this charger is on. And you'll notice this cart's completely dead. See where it's way down low? It's going to, the charger's on. It's going to charge for an hour or two down there. And it'll slowly raise. To slowly go up in the average but leave it on and this cart will charge by the use of these jumper cables um, a lot of people don't know that <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing don't try it that way but it is a way to do it when your only other uh, 
carts you got available is some other brand and you don't have two chargers of the same light that you can do this to, you can do it with a set of jumper cables. Um, I've done this where I've jump started 36 volt carts from a 48 volt cart with jumper cables. I just go to three batteries instead of four, but uh, I don't advise that. But anyway, hope you like this video. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We have an eBay store up. You can buy parts. You can send me questions. I get a lot of them questions, and I do appreciate them. I will answer them, so we appreciate it. This is from Wayne's Golf Carts, and have a great day. Yeah.